Good afternoon. Lali Mohammed here from Deviant Productions. We come to you today from Mel Lassman Square in Uptown Toronto, where community groups, QP 4400, and concerned family members and children come together to urge the Toronto District School Board Trustees to stop the closing of eight schools. The 22 trustees who represent the community are inside currently to vote for the closure of the eight schools. Some have suggested that there are racial and socio-economic patterns to the closings of the school as they overlap the poorest neighborhoods in the city. So what does this mean? Well, in the immediate sense it means the closure of critical programs and fewer schools in neighborhoods for parents and children, but also that children now have to leave their neighborhoods and go on buses to go to other neighborhood schools. What's your role here today and um, why do you think this meeting, this gathering is important? Tonight they're going to be uh, announcing if they're going to if those schools will remain open or closed. This is a critical night. Um, if they're voted to be closed, it's a very dark day in education. And the schools that are going to be closed, they're being closed strictly because of their high value. Not because of any other reason, but just because they're worth a lot of money. What are you guys doing here today? My name is Abdullahi and what we're doing today is we're, help, we're helping save our school. And what are you ladies doing here today? To help our school! To help the community and youth. Education is not a privilege, it's a right. Thank you. Thank you. It's not and fair to close down people's education. It's not fair. Because we need some education. How about when we grow up and get a job? We, look, we don't know anything. Where's our youth? Come on down here, children. Come on down here because you're the ones that we're all here for. Come on down here. That's right. This is our school. This is our school board. Come on down, children. The issues that we face today are fundamental to our school system. They are resisting far too long a history of undercutting the education of this city's working people, especially those who are poor, immigrant, and increasingly racialized. This issue, however, isn't just about losing our neighborhood schools. It's about losing our schools because you aren't rich enough, or you aren't privileged enough, or you don't come from the right neighborhoods. Your presence here gives us the strength to continue this fight to get our neighborhood school back for our community. And as far as we can tell, we are going to need all of this strength in the months to come. Let's not have any doubt about this. This is a class issue. The people who are suffering the most are the people who are poor. Who are the people who are poor? The people who are new immigrants, who don't have the language skills to be able to fight back. But we together, we can have a loud voice and fight back. It doesn't matter how we came. I don't want them to close the school because I need education. We all need education. I have been involved in four arcs in my ward in the last year and a half and it's been very difficult. We shouldn't have to close schools uh, to bring upgrades to our schools, to have state-of-the-art schools. We shouldn't have to sell schools to fund our schools properly. I am against the closing. We need more schools, not closing the schools. That is why I'm here. Who here wants to work at McDonald's? No one! That's right, and that's why I want to here. Maria Rodriguez asked, where do our tax dollars go? Well, this year the provincial government gave corporations a $2.6 billion tax cut. They're spending a billion dollars on security for the G20 summit. And then they tell us that they don't have enough money to send the Queen's Plate students to their local school. We just arrived inside the Toronto District School Board building where inside the, the 22 trustees are having their meeting and they're not allow, allowing community members to go inside. So tell us what you know about what's going on inside. Well, I wish I knew for sure, but so I can only speculate, but quite clearly we have 22 trustees. There's four or five or six who are like secure in the next election, so they don't care. The staff, with the backing of the government, is saying you have to do it, you have to balance the budget. So the only way you can balance the budget is by selling the assets. 
that's what I'm sure that's what the fight is and that's why we're not allowed in. You seem really passionate about uh, the closures that are going on right now. Um, what are your thoughts? I, I feel bad because the schools and the people they need each other like you have to have a school that's close to you that your kids go to when they close the school where your kids are going to go they have to be busted to far away place there's no space but we don't believe there's no space because if there was no space there are other people who are closer to the other schools they could have taken them the crowds today are obviously from um, communities of color um, communities from lower income neighborhoods um, do you think that's coincidental or do you think there's something else going on no it's so like it's totally obvious that's how it works right because our system is structured so anyone who's poor or from a racialized community just happens not to have the political power and not to have the resources. Do you think the next voting period in October um, is important to change the current practices that the trustees are doing? Yes, we should elect trustees who work for people, like for the people, not trustee who tells us shut up, like dismiss our cases and who doesn't listen to us. A publicly funded education system is having a private meeting. As the community said earlier, shame. Uh, there are eight school closings on the agenda tonight. That is on the agenda. Tonight. That's part of why. We, that's part of. Okay, well that's a good. That's, that's perfectly legitimate. It's all interconnected. Okay, no, no, okay. I, so just so that you know, at 8:30, uh -huh. we're going to go back in public. You're welcome to come in. Okay. And then what will happen is we have a regular uh, uh, number of things. The first, one of the first things we have to deal with is the school closing. So that debate will probably go on for an hour at least because okay. people want to keep the schools open or closed so I just want to let you know. And here we are the following day. The public's access to last night's meeting was continually delayed discouraging family members to stay up and attend the meeting later. Some of the final decisions were seven schools were closed, one is being deferred to a later date and 91 are still on the chopping block. While some of the TDSB trustees claim that closing the schools is necessary to balance the next year's budget, one community member states, and I quote, selling schools is like burning the family's furniture to keep warm for just one more winter. In solidarity, this is Lali Mohammed from Deviant Productions.